students in this lecture we will be finding the optimal solution of a transportation cost by using ogle's approximation method the first step is to check whether the given problem is a balanced transportation problem or an unbalanced transportation problem for which we have to sum up the supply and the demand separately and we have to check whether they balance each other so now if you see here the sum of the supply will be 7 plus 9 plus 18 which is equal to 34 and the sum of the demand is also 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 14 which is also 34 so this is a balanced transportation problem so it is a balanced transportation problem because the total supply is equal to the total demand now we shall proceed the problem by using ogle's approximation method as it gives the approximate solution of the problem first we have to find the difference between the two smallest elements in each row of this matrix and enter it in the right hand side of the matrix these values are known as row penalties that is we shall first find the difference d1 so it is obtained by from the first row we have to choose the two least element so if you see here it is 19 30 50 10 out of these four values the two least elements are 19 and 10 so 10 is the most least and 19 is the next least now we have to find the difference between these two least values so 19 minus 10 is 9 which we have to write here now in the second row the two least values are 30 and 40 the difference between these two values is 40 minus 30 which is 10 and that we have to write here and the third penalty of the third row is that is the penalty of the third row we have to find which will be the difference between two least elements so what are the least elements here 8 and 20 so the difference between these two will be 20 minus 8 and so that we have to write here which is 12 so these are the differences d1 that is the first row penalty values now in a similar manner we have to find the penalties of the columns so now we have to find the difference between the two smallest elements in each column and we have to enter it in the bottom of the matrix these are called the column penalties so let us find the first penalty d1 so that we have to write at the bottom of this matrix so d1 we will write here if we check in the first column the two least numbers are 40 and 19 so 40 minus 19 will give us 21 so that we have to write here in the second column the two least elements are 88 i mean uh, 8 and then 30 so if we take the difference between 8 and 30 that is 30 minus 8 it will give us 20 Two. and so that we have to write here in the third column the next two least elements are 40 and 50 so the difference between these two is 10 and then the next least uh, two least elements of the fourth column is 20, 10 and 20 so the difference between these two is 20 minus 10 which is 10 so now what we have to do is so now we have to make the first allocation so how we have to do that is we have to check all the values of d1 that is difference d1 so if you see here it is 9 10 12 and here it is 21 22 10 10 so out of all these values we must choose the maximum value that is the highest value of all the differences so the maximum value is 22 we have to check the corresponding column for this value which is the second column 
now we have to make an allotment for this second column so which element we have to allot is the least element has to be allotted now out of these three values the least element is 8 so we have to make an allocation for this cell so for which we have to check the demand and the supply the demand is 8 and the supply is 18 so out of 8 and 18 the least is 8 so this 8 has to be allocated here so let's make the allocation 8 here now after making the allocation we have to strike off the corresponding column so this column will be striked off now now from this 18 we have to subtract 8 so 18 minus 8 will give us 10 so that we have to cancel and write here as 10 so now we have made the first allocation here now next we have to make the next allocation to make the next allocation now in a similar way we have to find the difference d2 so d2 will be now we have to check for the two least elements of the first row because we have striked one column so it may differ or it may remain the same also sometimes now if you check here the two least will be 50 and 10 so uh, I'm sorry it's not 50 and 10 it is 19 and 10 so it is the same here so the two difference between 19 and 10 will be 9 so that we have to write here now if you check in the second row the two least will be 40 and 60 so the difference between these two is 60 minus 40 which is 20 that we have to write here in the next row if you check the two least will be 40 and 20 and so the difference between these two is 40 minus 20 which is 20 that we have to write here and then we have to find the difference d2 so with that we have to for the columns so that is the column penalty so now if you check here in the first column the two least elements is 40 and 19 okay so 40 minus 19 we have to do which is 21 and the second column is striked off so we have to hyphenate here there should be no we should we need not find any difference here so hyphenate it and in the third column the two least is 50 and 40 so these are the two least elements out of all the three elements so, so when we subtract it we get that as 10 and so that 10 we have to write here and in the fourth column the two least are 10 and 20 so 20 minus 10 will be 10 so now we have found all the differences of d2 so now we have to make the allocation for which we have to check all the values of d2 and we should check which is maximum so here it is 9 20 20 21 10 10 so the maximum value of all the d2 values is 21 so we have to make the allocation corresponding to this column so now if you see the column corresponding to this is the first column and the in the first column we have to check for the least element the least element is 19 so we have to give the allocation for this 19 so when we allocate here we will be checking for the supply and the demand the supply here is 7 and the demand is 5 and so we have to allocate 5 over here so after making this allocation we have to strike off the column from which we have allocated so strike it off and then this 5 has to be subtracted from 7 and here the remaining value will be 2 so now this is finished similarly we have to make the other allocation also so now we are for which we have to find d3 so let us find the d3 row wise first so the this is striked off striked off the two left out is 50 and 10 so obviously we have to find the difference between these two so 50 minus 10 will will give us 40 now next the left two left out is this so 60 minus 40 so that will give us 20 and then here the left two left out is 70 and 20 so obviously we have to take the difference between these two so 70 minus 20 will be 50 so these are the differences d3 across the 
rows now across the columns we have to find the differences d3 so in the first column it is striked off so hyphenated second column is also completely striked off so hyphenated in the third column the two least elements are 40 and 50 and so the difference will be 10 and in the fourth column the two least are 20 and 10 and so the difference will be 20 minus 10 which is 10 so now we have found all the d3 values now we have to check for the maximum d3 value so here it is 40 20 50 and here it is 10 10 and so which is the maximum d3 value 50 is the maximum d3 value and the, uh, what do we have corresponding to it we have the corresponding column which is column 3 so now we have to make an allocation to column 3 so in column 3 these two are striked off already these two columns have gone now in this uh, row i mean uh, the corresponding row is uh, row 3 and third row so in this row the two left out cells are these two cells so out of these two the least element is 20 and so we have to make an allocation here so if you check for the supply and it is 10 and the demand is 14 out of these two supply is less so that we have to allocate here so 10 we have to allocate subtract 10 from 14 which will give us the remaining 4 and we have to very carefully strike off the column from which we have made the allocation so this is done like this we have to make the next allocation until all the cells are striked off we have to keep on allocating so now we have to find d4 so d4 will be the difference of these two is 40 so these two are left out so the difference of these two is 20 and then this is striked off so we have to hyphenate it in a similar way across the column we have to find the difference d4 so now because these two are striked off already it is hyphenated and here it is again 50 minus 40 which is 10 60 i mean uh, here it will differ because it is 60 minus 10 now so first we will write this difference 50 minus 40 is 10 and here we have 60 minus 10 which is 50 so now out of all the d4 values the d4 values here here is 10 50 and here the d4 values of 40 20 so out of these four values the maximum value is 50 so this 50 so we have to make an allocation for this column so in this column the least element is 10 so we have to make an allocation for this cell so for this cell the supply is 2 and the demand is 4 so the uh, two uh, least of these two is 2 so that we have to allocate here so after allocating we have to strike off this row and after striking this off subtract that 2 from 4 which will give us the remaining 2 so that we have to write here so now still we have these cells to be left out that is 40 and 60 and if you see all the other are striked off so obviously we can now easily select out of 40 and 60 which is the least 40 is the least so we have to make an allocation for this 40 so now here we have 7 and here we have 9 so the least is 7 so that 7 we have to make an allocation here so 9 minus 7 is 2 so to strike off and write 2 and strike off this column completely as we may have made the allocation from this demand here now next we are left out with one single cell and if you see the supply is 2 and the demand is also 2 so it's a basic feasible solution and so the allocation will be 2 here and we will be striking off the column and the row also so now if you see all the cells are striked off so next we have to write the allocation table so now here we have taken and written the allotment table so all the allotted values are written remaining values are hyphenated so now we have to check whether this is a degenerate or non-degenerate solution so let us check that now so when we check the that m plus n minus 1 was 6 and the number of allotments was 1 2 3 4 5 6 we observe that m plus n minus 1 is equal to number of allocations so therefore this is a non-degenerate initial basic feasible solution now we have to find the total cost for this solution so the total cost is equals to this and we observe that it is equal to 779 units
so now this is the basic initial basic feasible solution now we have to check whether this solution is optimal solution or not so for that we have to do the optimality test so the test for optimality has to be carried over so to do the test for optimality we have to carry over the modified distribution method that is shortly known as MODI method so this will be continued in our next video so kindly check the playlist to know the modified distribution method and to find the complete solution of the problem which is the optimal solution thank you